you have to come in and you have to want to learn and you have to want to push yourself. You're going to have really bad days. Some of them are going to suck. It's supposed to suck. You sign up for it to suck. <laughs> it's all about how it is afterwards. What, like, what I've gained in the last month and a half that I've been here, I'm a totally different person than when I came in. Pulling up with all my boxes, pull up in front of the barracks that we get to. They bring all my stuff inside, I walk inside, met my roommates for the very first time. It just still felt surreal because I was like, I don't feel like I'm moving to college yet. Like I'm still, this is still just happening and I'm just here. So the welcome ceremony was definitely a very emotional part of that day. Because like the anticipation was like so heavy. Just like sitting there waiting for whatever's next. And then he said, parents, you have two minutes to say goodbye to your kids and then that's all you'll be able to see of them. Everybody was really emotional. There were tears everywhere. Honestly, it's probably a good thing my grandma wasn't there for that because she would have been a mess. <laughs> she would have been a mess and I would have been a mess because she was a mess. Those two minutes where we were saying goodbye to our parents, those were two minutes I personally will hold like really close to my heart. And we march out for the very first time. That first march, we looked awful. Marching out, everyone was out of step. After the ceremony, when we were all up on the UP, it was dead silent. None of us knew what was going on. We were like, what did we just get ourselves into? It was just total confusion all around. You could see people were looking around like, what are we supposed to do? The cannon goes off. All of our cadres start screaming. I was like, oh, this is real. And I was just like, I'm ready for this. So they tell you like, oh, it's gonna be a, a 5.30 wake up. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna get up at like 5.20 and get ready to go, like change and whatnot. Well, 5.30 hits, the whole building shakes. It was awesome. Like it snapped into me like, oh, I'm here right now. There's banging on our door. The hallway is filled with cadre, all screaming at us to get up, get our uniforms on and get on their wall. From there, be 10 minutes to hygiene. If you don't make the time hack, it's more getting yelled at. We're standing on the wall, we stand on the wall for about 25 minutes. My knees were so sore just from standing at parade rest and attention for so long. They're in your face, they're yelling at you. That's the whole point of it. Break you down so they can build you back up. So that yelling, it gets you used to high stress environments. And then after that, you're going straight to PT and it's on, you're just running. We would run across campus, go into a parking lot. It's just go to work from there. The whole parking lot is basically flooded with sweat. And we run down to Shapiro. Absolutely freezing outside. The fog was covering the mountains. And then they're just like, go bear crawl and touch that. Having your Rook brothers and sisters there with you is probably the most beneficial thing. You're getting yelled at. You're getting smoked in a PT session no matter what. They're also there doing it with you. We're all in this together. We're all pushing through it together. I show up with like a, a fresh haircut and I was feeling good two days in. They're like, oh, by the way, we're going to shave your heads in a few days. And I was like, what? And one by one, we all just become bald Q-tips. The haircuts are you starting fresh and becoming a new person to build back up. Getting fitted was pretty fun for us. They took us to the top floor of the uniform store. They separated us and we got to get fitted. And it was pretty cool knowing that this is what you're gonna be wearing at Norwich. So I knew that everything was gonna be like at attention, but I did not expect us to sit down at Chow and be expected to sit like completely still, perfect posture and staring straight forward. You bring the food to your mouth, you put your fork down and then you can start chewing. You bring the cup to your mouth, you put it down and then you can swallow your drink. Your feet have to be at a 45 degree angle underneath the table or you're wrong. Like no matter what, you're wrong. Throughout Rook Week, you have to be on guard all the time. Like you can't unflip your switch. Uh, oftentimes they'd be like, all right, go stand by in your barrack. But at any point they could also be like, all right, get on my wall, like you're done. For me, yelling was never the hardest part. I think a reason a lot of the kids Pretty dropped that dropped is because yeah. they didn't realize that they're human too. And they're also learning to be leaders. The Dog River Run, the culmination of Rook Week, was one of the best days of my life, honestly. 
started out in the morning, banging on our doors as usual, but this time they're playing music. At first I had thought that like where the worm pits were was where the people were coming out of the Dog River. And then um, we get over there and I was like, oh, like we're, it's like just mud pit. I like full dove. I was like, you know what, screw it, let's go in. And then it was awesome like helping everyone climb out at the end. Like all the boys just like start hopping. I'm like in the middle, like just jumping with them and we're all like barking. Like, the energy was just so like ecstatic. It's like family at that point. And you're going through the Dog River and everybody's just patting each other on the back. like. We made it through that first week. Like that's the first time I ever saw any of my cadre smile. It was like, wow, okay, they smile, that's awesome. And then like you get out and you run back and then that's it and then the cadre back to being cadre and you just, now you just have a rock. The closing ceremony, because civilians and the Corps are both there, it kind of, reinforces that sense that this is still a college. Norwich is here to give us the best opportunity in life no matter what we're doing. I had so much pride for my platoon and for my company, not just my platoon, that we all looked good and that we were all going out there together. Almost like if I was to see my brother and I was like, that's my brother, he just did that. <laughs> that's how I felt about every single person that was standing there with me. Before I went to bed every night, I would run through my head how the day went and what I think I did well, what I think I could have done better on. I would like play that back in my head and I'd be like, okay, tomorrow I'm gonna do this better because today it wasn't great. Don't sell yourself short in giving up. I was very intimidated coming in, having no Jay Rotsy experience, nothing like that, and not be able, being able to perform at the level that everyone here was gonna perform at. Honestly, at the end of the day, they were no better than I was. Just don't give up, and the cadre will never give up on you.